a great way to start this trip. the base of the Lincoln Monument or part way up. We've got folks set up just a little bit higher. A good tip for this location is either be incredibly symmetrical, being very careful to keep as many lines straight and vertical and horizontal, all nice and snip snap ship shape, or set off really off to the left or right and get a very deliberate off angle shot. When you get these shots that are just a little off kilter one way or the other, it's just doesn't make for a strong composition. You need to look deliberate. Have you heard me say that before? And one of the things that, that helps is using the grid lines on your screen to match up with the pieces of architecture that you're shooting. So in this case, I'm shooting the Lincoln Memorial. This plaque marks the center down here. And then I just use the grid lines to match up. Just kind of shooting a time lapse as early morning people arrive here and visit the Lincoln Memorial. Got a lot of sun now, we've lost our color. That's why it's important get out before. All of that color was in the 30, 40 minutes before the sun actually rose. So it's been a fantastic show this morning. We uh, just finished walking through the Vietnam Memorial, which is if you're standing at the steps of Lincoln looking towards the Capitol, it's off on your left. And it's this very kind of uh, low experience with names carved of all of those who were killed in action uh, during the Vietnam War. It's quite somber experience. Uh, I mean, the, the sheer number of the names, the messages left by loved ones. It's also an interesting, uh, you know, photographic experience because you can focus in on the just repetition of the names repeating again and again, uh, and also with the black marble uh, or granite. I think it's granite. Uh, it's very reflective and so you can get some really nice reflections of the trees, of the sunrise that's still happening, of the Washington Monument, a little bit of the Lincoln. So there's a lot of opportunities even though when you at a glance it looks just kind of like this big black slab. Keep your eyes open, watch for all of these different experiences in all of these different places and you'll be able to capture more interesting pictures to share. It's still cold. We've made our way from the Vietnam Memorial to the Constitution Gardens, which is a place I've never actually visited. Some nice opportunities there for leading lines, to the trees, to the monument. Now we're here at the end of the reflecting pool, Lincoln Memorial behind us, the Washington Monument behind us. Let me turn around that way. Um, you know, I've been known to poo-poo tripods. Uh, but in situations like this, I'm not even shooting a long exposure, but I, I'm wanting to very carefully line up and make sure my lines are straight. It's gonna say ship shape again, but I think you're already tired of hearing me say that if I didn't cut out all the 18 times I've already said it this morning. So that's helpful. I was also hopeful to get a longer exposure, but I can't find my adapting ring for the ND filter for this lens. So I'm just shooting. I shot a couple of them. You could sandwich them to kind of do a fake long exposure. You go as long as you can and then shoot multiple images and sandwich them in Photoshop. I don't, the look never looks quite as good to me. So I rarely do that, but you can do it. Really nice reflection though out there, the Lincoln. And I'm just using this long 70 to 200 uh, out at 200. So I get really tight and fill the frame with the Lincoln Memorial and the reflection down below. And I said Washington Monument, but really what's between us is the World War II Monument, uh, which is the newest monument on the mall. And the tour buses just got here. Oh boy. And is uh, a really beautiful and, and well done with all of this water. We're gonna be back here tonight for some fantastic long exposures.
we rested, we're headed back out, but first we gotta kind of like uh, pick out the charged batteries out of this mess right here. Make sure they're back in our cameras. And that's Nick's Red Bull, it's not mine. I never drink that. It's a nice sunset. And I bet it's really loud here. I bet you can't hear me at all. World War II Memorial after dark. Long exposures of the lights. Good morning on day two. We are here across from the Jefferson Memorial. Cherry blossoms, it's beautiful. That's not what I wanna talk about. Check out this lady and her dog. He is so well trained. He's practically smiling for the camera. We're not the only ones here. You've heard about the Cherry Blossom Festival here in DC. It's pretty nuts. Uh, and the Cherry Blossom's even not quite at peak this year. There's, there's lots of them, they're beautiful but not as thick as they have been in some other years past. But the number of photographers that come out, shoot the cherry blossoms, shoot the monuments, the sunrise, we had some really nice color for a little while. It's all kind of flattened out. From the cherry blossoms in the Jefferson Memorial to Iwo Jima to Arlington National Cemetery. Uh, that's where we are right now and finishing up our kind of our morning shoot here. Uh, you know, it's an um, amazing place on so many levels. Uh, what it represents, what it represents to people who have loved ones here. My grandfather is actually here in Arlington National Cemetery. Um, photographic opportunities. Uh, there's just some real interesting repetition. Uh, it just kind of a sense of, of just, you know, these gravestones that just go on and on and on and on and what that represents. I don't, I don't have good words for that. But we're spending a little time in here before we kind of wrap up and finish up for the morning. When I started in here, I had the uh, Lawa 12 millimeter on my full frame camera. And I, I don't like that. The very wide angle just spreads everything so far apart. I moved to my 24 to 70 and took a couple shots of that before I put on the 70 to 200. Using a longer telephoto lens really does allow you to uh, emphasize that repetition, show that these just are go on and on and on. Basically just saying repetition in another way. It's our last evening in Washington, and as you see, it's a little cloudy, but we're gonna head out towards the Capitol and see what we can capture tonight. The reflecting pool in front of the nation's capital. It's just really nice light. We've got some definition in the clouds. The light is even, which allows you to get that definition in the clouds as opposed to it all being kind of blown out and bright. I'm doing some really long exposures to really smooth that water. Every little ripple will be gone, I, I hope. We'll see how those turn out. behind me. Um, they think of everything here in DC. No, uh, we've made our way over to the Jefferson Memorial now and uh, kind of the last stop of the evening, last stop here in DC. I, I love the Jefferson Memorial. Not only is it beautiful perched on the water with the reflections, but it is, I think, a fantastic monument and inside are some awesome quotes from Jefferson. It's busy. This is one of those places where you roll up and I think if you kind of wanted that solitary monument empty devoid of life kind of shot you're gonna be really disappointed and you just you're not gonna get that so you need to embrace the crowds in some respects shoot somewhere they they're shown they're part of the story look at all these people that are hanging out here that have come here from all over the United States all over the world you're gonna see you know what this is all about and um, then also shoot tighter shots of the quotes of Jefferson um, that, that hide the crowd and are a little bit more, uh, or different. 